Good morning, everybody out there. This is Ron Johnson, Monster Fish Keeper, Mental Health Coach. And the first time doing my channel, thanks for listening. And always stay fishing, my friends, out here. You guys can see some people are already waking up. It's early in the morning. I'm an early morning person. It has to be 6, 10 a.m. my time. So I've been up since 4, doing some other stuff. But today I have a project that's coming. So right now the pond is pretty much ready. The water has been cycled. I've tested the water. And now it's time to put a heater inside. So what that means is that, let me just show you guys what I mean. So here's the pond. And obviously I got to do some maintenance. There are a couple of little small goldfish I had in there from a, another uh, tank I was working on, but I gotta do some stuff. So I gotta take this pump, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna take that outlet, right there you guys can see that, and I'm gonna put it more closer here. You can see I have a wave maker there already moving the water around, right? So bigger the water, you gotta get some circulation of the water. So I gotta pump there. Not air pump, but uh, circulation of water. And I got another one right here. So you can see the water movement is happening as we speak. I'm trying to get, make sure it goes all the way around the tank. Um, so I see a little fishy friend right there. So that's what I'm gonna work on. So now the question is, I gotta heat this tank. So let me show you what the water looks like right now. So let me grab my handy trusty little thermometer, which is right here. So I'm gonna kind of point it here in the tank. Let's see what the water is. 74 degrees. So typically I want my water to be about 78 to 76. So 74 degrees is definitely kind of low. And obviously I gotta get a fish down on top of here. I gotta insulate this so that way we don't use a lot of evaporation. So now what I'm working on is I gotta make a custom heating. So I'm pretty much gonna be using, I'll show you guys later on, the heater I'll be using in this particular project. But, however, you can't just attach the heating to the actual pond itself. It's plastic and an 800 watt heater will melt the plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a DIY PVC pipe hanging the filter down into the water itself. And um, first time doing that, so we'll see what happens. I'm definitely gotta write everything out like I'm doing. And I will show you guys how I do it later on once I go to the gym, once I get my mind straight and talk about how to get this project done. Guys, I'm back from Home Depot. I had to get some supplies. So let me take it over to the table. So I had to get a full length pipe, full length one inch diameter PVC pipe, cut it in, I think I did four or five, it doesn't matter, but take it where I'm going to strap it across here. So right here, let me show you where is my diagram. So take a look at my diagram. So that's how I'm gonna set the heater in my actual tank itself. So I got some PVC pipe, cheap, Five bucks, 10 foot. Got a T right here, cheap, 86 cents. So I got two of those. I got two 90 degree elbows, cheap, 78 cents. And I got some caps here, cheap, again, like 86 cents. So I need to sit here and make a custom heater go inside the uh, Monster Pond, as you guys can see here. So you see the actual video, probably gonna shoot that on a different camera than I use my iPhone, I don't normally do. And my new shirt, Perfect and Perfect, so I love seeing that because everybody's perfect the way they are. But I'm gonna set this pond up today. I got fish rescue coming. So that's why I'm in a hurry to get this set, the rescue of this pot coup, uh, help my community out. So I'm gonna get this up today so you guys can see it, get the pond going and get it accomplished. So stay fishing, I'll see you later. Okay, so I'm gonna give a quick update of the pond and what I've done so far. So you guys can probably see right here what I've done is I attach two ends. So I got a T. I cut five inch of the PVC pipe, put in caps, measure 30 inches, another PVC pipe going that direction, and the same thing on the other side using 90 degree elbows on this actual tank itself. Also, I've done, remember from my last video, I had, let me tell you guys this side, I had over there on that side, I had the pipe with the T on the end. Some stuff, stuff happened with that one, I didn't like it, it was, it's not what I wanted. So I ended up doing was now, let me show you guys, actually, let me switch the video and show you. So let me show you guys what I've done. So I took my pump, put it in a trash can. I drilled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes in the side of this trash can. The reason why I've done this is I've heard many stories about people having a pond, it drains too low, and you know, water gets all over the ground, and it's 500 gallons, not too much water on the ground. What I'm gonna do though, 
It says bricks at the bottom. I'm actually gonna buy a couple more bricks to raise the pump above a certain level. So if something happens and I'm not here, it won't be 500 gallons all over the ground. Also, if you remember, I had a T-pipe on that side, there's my finger, on that side, drain the water out. There's some gunk at the bottom there that I need to clean up, so I'm gonna take care of that too, if you guys can see that. So now the pipe is actually here, right? With all that nice flow coming out. A lot of water coming out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a way to secure this probably right about here. Let the pump flow, let the water flow itself so at least it doesn't move around and have some security there. So that's my quick update and obviously go back here. A lot of cleaning to do, a lot of organization to do. And there's always a fish there. You can see swimming right there at the corner. You see a guy swimming. But I'm gonna attach the heater here and run it down. So I'm attaching the heater here, run the cable from here down and hook it to my plugs in the back. I wanna keep my plugs nice and neatly organized. So I got some plugs at the finish up there, getting organized. Um, and that's getting ready for the fish rescue coming. So DYI pond is there and I'm almost complete. Walking back, the pond is done. The DIY heater is done. You can see a little closer, there's a heater here and a heater there. But unfortunately, sometimes heaters are defective. So I have one heater right now that's defective. So I just went to Amazon, ordered another heater and it should be coming tomorrow, hopefully crossing my fingers. So the pond can be ready. I'm definitely gonna put some netting on top of the pond. Uh, as you guys can see, it's all open. You don't want any fish jumping out. Put some netting on top of the pond. Over a period of time, I'm gonna put some um, also some um, polycarbonate um, on top of the um, tank itself so that way protect it from heat, you can protect it from fish jumping out, whatever. But it's done at least, that project is done. I'm happy it's done. Whew, a lot of work today. If you guys like my videos, and first let's talk about this right in, is let's talk about the mental health aspect. And the reason why I like to merge my hobbies into that is because that's what I'm all about. Mental health and feeling better. And just more importantly, just doing what you love doing. Like, how important it is to do what you love doing regardless of what people think. How does it feel doing what you love doing regardless of what people may say? You don't have to conform to anything, culture, religion, whatever you want. You don't do whatever you want. Whatever feels good for you, you can make that happen. But when you put down, when you have these barriers up, I can't do this, it's not possible, it won't happen. Well, of course, because you have barriers up. Let those barriers come down, get out of your comfort zone, take a risk. As you know, Ron Johnson, mental health coach, fish enthusiast, and soon-to-be therapist. Subscribe, like my channel. Let's talk more about fish. Let's talk more about your mental health. And always, thanks for listening.